Hello everyone, my name is Roland. In this video, I'm going to talk about the different publication stages and the related document kind codes. When completing patent searches, for example in SPASnet or through other patent information tools, you usually get a hit list once you have issued your search. These results lists can be quite long and can contain a lot of hits. It is therefore important to understand the different types of publications one can encounter in the results of a search and whether they are relevant in relation to the purpose of the search. Looking at the patent granting procedures around the globe, in most jurisdictions nowadays a patent application will be published, followed by a publication of the granted patent if the invention has been granted. This also holds true for the patent granting procedure at the EPO, where the published application is called an A publication and the granted patent, or formally speaking, the patent specification is referred to as the B publication. There is, however, not only one type of A or B publication, there could be several depending on the procedural requirements. This is why the A and B publications can receive an additional digit which further specifies the type of publication. Together, they are called document kind codes indicating, as the name says, the kind of publication. When looking at, for example, patent numbers in results lists or elsewhere, you will find these kind codes appended to the publication number consisting of the two-digit country code identifying the issuing authority, a serial number and the said kind code. For publications from the European Patent Office, you will frequently come across documents with kind codes A1 or A2, but also A3. A1 stands for a patent application published, where the European search report is part of the published document. A2 is also a patent application, but doesn't include the search report as it wasn't available at the time of publication. The latter will then be issued as a separate publication with kind code A3. So, Content-wise, A1 equals A2 plus A3. However, this wouldn't be obvious without knowing the meaning of the document kind codes A2 and A3 respectively. As mentioned before, there are further kind codes both for A and B publications, which you can see here. For example, corrections of the title page or a complete reprint of an A publication or of a B publication. For applications at a regional patent office like the EPO, the story is not over yet. Depending on the choice of the designated countries and their respective procedures, this can lead to further publications. The EPO accepts patent applications in English, French and German. After grant and in order to enter into force in a designated contracting state, the patent must be validated. This could include submitting a translation in an official language of that contracting state, which will then be published by the respective authority with a new publication number and kind code. It has become evident that a single invention applied for at one patent office can already lead to several published documents from this authority relating to this invention. Furthermore, if the applicant decides to also apply for a patent in another jurisdiction, or opts for a regional or worldwide procedure, which happens in many cases, this can further increase the number of publications. Within the databases, they are grouped into so-called patent families so that it is easier to identify related patent publications from the same and other authorities. As the kind codes have not been assigned in the same way over the years, and as differences exist between the different patent procedures, it is important to look up the respective kind code of a particular authority and to check what has been used at a certain point in time. The World Intellectual Property Organization, in short WIPO, maintains a standard, the so-called standard ST16, to which many authorities around the world adhere to and where the various kind codes of the different patent authorities can be looked up. The standard is published on the WIPO's website. 
It recommends that standard documents resulting from a patent application and being identified as the primary or major series should be identified with letters A for the first publication level, B for the second publication level, and C for the third publication level. I hope that the information provided in this Patent Knowledge Nugget video will help you navigate the channel of publication stages and kind codes. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.